up everybody right today then I'm taking a look at my pedal assist sensor recently I went out on bike and I noticed that my power were being cut when I was using the pedals it kept cutting and then picking back up and cutting well at first I thought it were these leaves that were getting in between the magnet and all the grime and the dirt coming from the wheel and I don't think that that helped because all the back of the sensor and the magnet were gummed up with dirt and leaves and soil etc so I made this guard you can see that in another video so that's stopping the dirt getting in there's like teeth in the centre of this magnet ring and um, when you buy it they're all pointing radially into the centre when you push it on they fold over to try to bring the shape of this square up but after a bit of use and after those teeth have set they've gone they're not gripping so obviously when I'm pedalling I'm pedalling away like that and every now and again the magnet is doing that and then picking up and doing that and picking up and so on so what I'm proposing to do then I'm going to make a little bush with a square on just to stop it slipping so if anybody's found a problem with a power assist that it's the losing power every now and again that might be the reason why and uh, I don't know how other magnet rings are made but this particular one has got these teeth in and they're pretty much useless really right I found this brass washer you need to measure your, your square on your crank these are slightly tapered for the crank to fit snugly on so I'll measure at the back and then make a hole the same diameter as across the flats then I'm going to file a square into that I'm going to leave all those tabs in to keep it centralised just put a couple of rivets in to hold that ring in and then press it on so that the square drives the ring Right, I'm just going to pop a couple of 1 16th rivets in here. It's important that you centralise it, obviously, or it's, or it's going to be doing that motion. So, how I've done it, I've got my vernier, zeroed my vernier, and on three of the sides. I've just evened it up it's within four or five thou that's close enough and if you look at the other side you can more or less see where where the uh, pedal crank's gone in so I'm just going to drill those now straight through the magnet ring for the rivets I'm just going to chamfer this side, put a countersink in it, just to knock the rivets into. Just going to cut that rivet off to length. and leave approximately three millimetre gap 
up to the actual sensor from the magnet ring. Now that's not going to spin now. I don't think that will ever slip now so that should have cured that problem anyway uh, I think that's it for this video then if you find that tip helpful give me a thumbs up and a subscribe and if not I'll catch you on my next video thanks for watching then bye for now